What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. Uh, so I did finish up the zone, as you can see. Um, kind of as I suspected, it was just some stuff I had missed. So real fast, just to uh, briefly explain it with the mouse here. Um, right over here, there's just a drop off. You drop off, and that takes you around to this ladder, which got nothing besides the ladder. Um, this area, and the mist I couldn't get, was right here. Another drop off. So you go over to that drop off, and that actually led to a decent bayonet, the Queen Slayer plus five, which stat wise um, is worse than the the Rubelite Piercer. You know, comparing them uh, here, you can see that the damage is at uh, 30 higher damage, but this has better blood. It has plus 40 blood, and on top of that, this is only a plus four, and this is a plus five. So I still think the Rubelite Piercer is going to be the best choice, um, but, you know, since I did it, I just wanted to let you guys know, but, yeah, it's, um, I am more and more realizing that pretty much everything I do, if I can't find a zone, it's a drop down. Almost 100% of the time, it's a drop down. Uh, so I am going to continue playing as uh, Atlas. I know it's, it's just absolutely fucking face roll. But um, the other choice I was looking at was the, the Queen Slayer one. I don't know if I covered this in the last episode. It's been a day or so. But, you know, Drain Boost, Circulating Pulse is a barrage of strikes, one-handed, Fire Projectile that increases Gauge, Final Journey, Restore all HP Increase Abilities, what kills you, and then Cleansing Light. Um, so it's an interesting class, but not really one that has anything that I'm looking for. So instead, we're just going to... Continue on this zone. I hope it gets more interesting because so far, in my experience, this is definitely the most boring zone. It's just everything is fucking white. Come on, this land. Welcome to Japan. It's dunking on stuff, so I can go up or I can continue. Let's try up first. Okay, up is good. It's a chest. Something that wants to drop down, maybe? Nagi Mukuro, that's, uh... Oh, hey, big fatty. It's weird, it's like really tricky to get a backstab using, uh bigger weapon um hmm so it's like a deck scaling greatsword I think it's basically what he's using this game loves its dex weapons I like how the first swing of this is just a one-handed, just blah, blah. Essentially, it's like guts. Um, I want to check that ladder. I want to see where this goes to. A, B, C. Strength build is real OP. One shotting you and me. Strength build OP. So we go that way. Let's see what was over here. This is a shortcut that I open up. The dead end with a drop down. One of the lost has evaded. Oh no!
stem. see something here, man. These lost crystals are small. Okay, 3,000 Hades. I was thinking, I was mixing up crystals and shards. So that's not bad, but damn, man. Those lost, the, the lost invasions are probably the hardest piece of content, because when those things happen, I mean, it, you're just being swarmed with enemies. And like, the greatsword got through it, obviously, but I feel like as a caster or something else, it's, uh, it's definitely seeing just how strong you are, because fuck, it's a lot of damage. Um, and given that we just did that, I think... I'm just gonna do this real fast. Oh, I mean, I might as well. I used up all my healing to tackle that. that chest? I think I did. Looks like it's no, it's it's not opened. Um Yes. Mastery. Alright now hold up. Went that way. What about here? That was a no that was a dead end. So I what I'm trying to think is Path is there. That's what I want to get to. Wish I had like a map heading on the mini map. Map is. It's, it's like under me right here. Um, so I went out. Else here is there a drop down? I want to say I passed a drop down while I was exploring. Sorry, dead room. And that's the, the lost. Maybe I had to circle around to get to it. Alright, so let's head on up. Queen Steel. It's good upgrades. Um, oh, hang on, that's right. This led me to a ladder that I couldn't access because it's not down all the way, so then I just want to go this way. Okay, this was the thing I was thinking of. You know, the more I'm playing this, the more I'm not sure if I'm going to make a walkthrough of it, mainly because, I mean, mm. for fuck's sake, you know, it's like we have... We, we have a map that's telling us where we've been and where we haven't been. I feel like walkthrough isn't really needed. You know, like, sure, the walkthrough would say, hey, you go left, you go right. Go here to get this item, and then go back this way. You know, it would basically be detailing out the optional paths prior to the, the main paths, but... I feel like with the, the dots on the map telling you where you've been, you can clearly see where you haven't been. 
don't know. I just, I don't really feel like a walkthrough adds all that much value, I guess. Key. That's probably going to lead me to the Ornit Key. Let's go back real fast. See what's up at the top of this. Like, that's the kind of shit the walkthrough would say. Like, alright, well, that way... Before you go that way, we're going to go on up. But it's like... Even though this is the let's play and it's completely blind, we went there and we're like, okay, can't get the key, let's go up instead. So it all still, you know, just makes sense. It's just a process of elimination thing. You'll be fine, Yakumo. Shoddy key. You little bitch. What do you think you're doing teleporting onto me? Like, honestly, I think way more than a walkthrough, I think a starter guide would be a lot more helpful to this game like explaining the explaining exactly how um stats and stat bonuses work explaining um you know the, the main differences between the gear and uh going into the depths to farm and, and how to navigate your map and whatnot and so, i mean there's there's way more like actually playing this game this has been without question probably one of the most easy Souls-like experiences I've had. I don't even think it's accurate to really call it a Souls-like anymore. Um, I mean, the hardest part was, like, figuring out, you know, okay, well, so this has this scaling, and if I combine that with that, all of my stats kind of line up. And, I mean, it, it took a while, but, like, you know, now, now we're having gone through that, now we're sitting at, you know, S strength, S vitality, and we're literally just, uh, you know, one-shotting stuff. I think the, the most ridiculous thing is still that last boss fight that we did. Literally sat there, got hit right at the start, and was like, ah, shit, well, I'm not buffed. I'll just, you know, let me just let him kill me, and then I'll, I'll, uh, come back in buffed and ready. Yakumo picked me up, and then I'm like, okay, come on. Guy hits me, Yakumo picks me up again, and I'm like, all right, fuck it, let's just kill this thing. And just, without really any effort, just, uh, sword smash, and it's, is it dead? It's dead. So we got a path that way, that's where we came from. It's a middle path, let's go. That looks like progression. I don't know. I'll have to get through the game first. Then I'll, uh... Decide if a walkthrough is gonna be needed. As as things are now, this is too easy to warrant a walkthrough. Damn, that was a big ass fall. Sky oh. huh? Second. I think I dropped two things. There's another shiny. Oh no, this must be the thing that has the uh the thing I wanted. The uh the code identifier. Yeah, it is. Okay, I know exactly where I fell then. Um, okay, what's this? Missed that before. 
Where did you come from? I can still regenerate. We're good, buddy. Actually, I didn't go through here yet. I looked at that and then I dipped out. So that dead ends. You grab the treasure. I'm going to go back here. And uh, that's where I came from. It was the ladder in this thing. Up. Oh. Cross back over. Might as well. I'm gonna have three regen and reduce use if I need to. And tempted to play solo without the NPC just so I don't have to listen to talk so damn much. That way, here, two separate. This one is a dead end, but I can drop. I have not been there. Well, that makes my decision easier. And that strength buff lasts a long time. It's the second door I've seen like that? Or is this the same door? Hmm, wondering if they're like optional boss type things. Uh, so looking at the map. <clears throat> um, let's see. So this can't go that way. Um, I'm about to go that way. That'll probably lead me to the mistle to unlock that stuff. Uh, how are we at on time? 18 minutes? I can go a little bit longer, I think. The lightning is probably not worth pre-buffing, but the strength buff that lasts a really long time. I can't really block that attack. So we came through here. Hang on. Shiny that I almost missed. This. 
So yeah, this has got to be leading us over to the, uh, the mistal that we're missing. So three potential directions. Treasure. Nothing. Nothing. The question is, do they all link? That dead ends. That links. That opens up a path. Leads to a guy. Oh, missile enemy. And ice disvestus part A. That's another thing I've learned. There's no point being like, why am I finding B and C? I haven't found A. Like, you'll, you'll find it eventually. You will find it eventually. Okay. I've been down there before. I don't remember how long ago. This is probably leading all the way back to that original chest that I wanted. There's the mistal. at 75% mapped. There's that original chest. There's the Ornit key. Okay. Um, so, Ornit door. I don't think the fastest way to go back is. Probably using a uh, thing, but I don't know how many of them. I have nine? I mean, I could use one, but it's not like it's a far run. Oh no, wait, I might have to. No, wait, I won't. There's that one door I passed, so. This way. Oh, that was you. Yeah, I might have to use it. Let me just use it. I want to say that was right next to the Ornid door, anyway. Yeah. There. Alright, um, how short am I? I might. Chug a lug down some things. Oh no, just enough. Great. All right, well, let's wrap this one on up. Um, hey, no, you're not the door I wanted, are you? You're the tightly locked door. Where was the Ornit door was over. I think it's that door. It's this way. Yeah. Here. No, I gotta get up into there. Now, we're gonna make it back to the Ornid door before we end, at least. So I'm assuming the Ornid door is like the next part of this zone or a boss encounter, so. So I don't want to drop down. I need to get down to there again. Damn it, dude. I do not remember. Is it just this? The oh, fuck, dude? It's like I was so close that my sword wasn't hitting. That was ass. That just drops you down here. Fuck. It's 
right there. So it's in that structure. I need to get back into that structure. Actually, since I have a uh, guard drain rating up, let me put on, um, Not have it. Wait. I don't. I need to rest at a mistle to get it. Oh, that leads nowhere. Son of a bitch! This fucking place with its interconnecting paths and shit. Everything looks the same. <laughs> Nothing for landmarks. I need that thing where enemies get staggered off of my, my weapon. I think I take the middle area here down. Won't oh, take you up, maybe? There we go. God damn it. Back to this thing it was a pain in the ass. Looks like it's probably guarding a mistle, judging that this is one of the only areas not uncovered on the map. <sighs> there, and you just gotta go this way. And there's our mistle. Alright, so we're going to wrap up for realsies this time, now that we made it through that crap. Um, looks like I'm coming up on a boss fight, but there's still shit I haven't unlocked. But it, like, I mean, I'm definitely coming up on a boss fight, looking at the map. That's a boss arena. But the stuff that was back down to below, and the other stuff up top, I don't remember the other drop down. There's probably a drop down that I missed. It's always a fucking drop down. Uh, I need this thing. Guard reversal. I need that. I definitely want to keep uh, the greatsword. Just check, check this thing out, right? Stats on this. So, 1272, right? If I swap that off. Uh, 1060. It's like an extra 200 freaking attack. It's huge. So we're going to take off balance, and I'm going to put on... The hell's it at? I just picked it up. Guard drain, handed mastery, resilient focus, fang, stamina. Wait, is it just a passive that you don't need to equip? What the hell? Oh no, it's an ability. That's why I'm like derping out here. Um, mining isn't that important. Let's put on that. All right, so closing out here, we're gonna try out this uh, guard reversal ability. See how that works and fairly fight a boss in the next episode so stay tuned and i'll catch you all then